second and final matter I wish to raise relates to an indication the Honorable Majority Leader had given earlier, I think some three weeks ago, when I raised uh, the matter to do with the evacuation, possible evacuation of our students in Wuhan uh, following the coronavirus outbreak. The Honorable Majority Leader said they were following the matter and that if um, uh, matters get out of hand, then there could be a briefing uh, of the House by the ministers uh, responsible on the way forward. We do know now that really the matter is getting out of control. Now 48 countries uh, have reported that they have uh, uh, the virus in their country, including Nigeria, it's now in West Africa. Uh, more than 88,000 infected cases. Uh, yesterday, South Africa, the South African president announced that they were going to evacuate they are national, all 133 in the Wuhan city. Other countries are also imposing flight restrictions. It have moved beyond just medical preparedness to flight restrictions and other controls. So I think that it will be important for three ministers, the ministers of health, the ministers, uh, the, the ministers of health, aviation, foreign affairs and regional integration uh, to appear before us and let us know what are the latest mechanisms being put in place, the latest measures uh, to, one, evacuate our students in Wuhan and other nationals in uh, the Hubei province, two, to respond to the current threats. I've seen the World Health Organization put out a publication that Ghana is on a watch list of uh, susceptible countries, of vulnerable countries in Africa. These are all matters that must concern this house, and I hope that the majority leader will give us some positive indication in this regard.